Oh my gosh, guys, we're doing it. We're going to go ride Tron. I'm so excited and I'm so glad that I get to bring you guys with me. I get to show you guys some stuff. If you want to go ride Tron, Tron opens on April 4th. And then also, as if that isn't exciting to enough, after Tron, we get to go to Universal. Today's fit. Um, I'm wearing my biker shorts again, you know, because I love them. And I'm wearing my Minecraft Burberry shirt. Um, also, this is, this sin shack is literally just for my wand. Like, it's so annoying how big it is. So I have to, it doesn't fit in this bag. I have to bring it in this bag. So let's go ride Tron. Oh. Ah! Studios. But I did get a cream cheese pretzel yesterday after Tron and that made me really happy. I completely forgot, I actually forgot to talk about what I thought about Tron and Tron is so cool. I love the area, the pre-show is the best pre-show ever. It's amazing. Guardians of the Galaxy is undefeatable, but whatever. I am getting ready for a solo day at Hollywood Studios. I know like my outfit like doesn't match Hollywood Studios because like Winnie the Pooh. I had to because I wanted to do this today. So I'm displaying like my trading pins and then like people can come up with me and I can trade some pins. So let's see if this actually works. If it doesn't, I completely understand, but I think I'm pretty approachable, so it might work. But also at Cast Connections a couple days ago, I got some new emo clothes. I do not have a new emo, but like these were so cute and they were also $1.99. I don't want to succumb into the new emo world. I was gonna get Pooh, I might get Oswald, but I think these clothes might fit this poo in my like shoulder buddies. I also got this group bowl for $8. Like this is such a good deal. It's a Halloween bowl, but it's so cute. I think I'm going to try to give poo this white frilly t-shirt because like I'm wearing white tank top and then we can kind of match. Or should I also get him the shorts? No, I don't think it's going to work. I think it's like, I don't know. We'll see. Why does this outfit fit him so well? Like, does it look cute? It doesn't look like Pooh Bear anymore when he's in a new outfit, but I I don't know. I think it looks I think it looks fine. Let's go to Hollywood Studio. Taken off from the Skyliner. I was so close to getting a Haunted Mansion one. One of these days I'm gonna get a character one. Even though I did hear that the non-character ones are better. I almost forgot to mention that the whole reason why I'm going to Hollywood Studios today is because I've never ridden the rock and roller coaster and they're shutting it down. So I just gotta ride it over and over and over again. Here is the Tower of Terror. I'm very scared of the Tower of Terror, not because of like the dropping, like, I like the feeling, but the only reason why is because it physically hurts when I land in the seat when it like stops. But since like my base area is kind of by the Tower of Terror, I've watched it like go up and down so many times. So maybe I kind of want to go on it now after seeing so many people go on it. But I don't know. Stay tuned to see if I ride the Tower of Terror. <laughs> I think this is the only park that I haven't really been in. I think it's because it's like where I work. So I kind of do come here almost every day. Okay, so I just booked the Toy Story Mania because I forgot the rides in this park. 
because rock and roller coaster is currently temporarily closed. Also, this park is so bopping busy today for no reason. We're gonna go ride the alien saucers real quick. One of the stations I work is right there, which is right next to the saucers. So now I don't gotta stare on it and be like, I've never ridden that one. Now I'm gonna ride it because it's the shortest late time. Why am I kind of scared? Oh my gosh, guys, I kid you not. This video, when like, I whipped, I literally found a $5 bill come out of like the pockets under there. $5, guys. You know what that means? That means we're gonna go buy some Joffrey's because I haven't tried Joffrey's and I've been thinking about getting it. So now that I find Thou of five bucks, thank you, random stranger, for paying for my Joffrey's. Toy Story Mania time. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. This is the coolest queue ever. Oh my gosh. I am ready. My arms hurt so bad. Oh my gosh. Let's see what I got. Hopefully I do good. Sorry, it's blurry. But I got 190. I got the cat. No way. I think that might be my high score. I don't know. The park is so busy today that Slinky Dog Dash time is 100 minutes. But I made a reservation. I get to go back in like an hour and 30 minutes. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but the rock and roller coaster is still temporarily closed. So I'm gonna head over to that area and ask if it's gonna open today again. If not, I think we're gonna park hop to Animal Kingdom. Apparently, the, the roller coaster is open. It's only a 55 minute wait. I'm gonna wait in it because I don't got anything else to do. Actually, I'm just gonna do a DAS pass for it later and I'm going to watch Beauty and the Beast. Actually, since I'm already over here, let's watch Lightning McQueen's Racing Academy. This is so cool. With some introduction. Well, nothing's too good for my best buddy. I pulled out all the stops for life. Wait. We still have one more hour until he go on Sleepy Dog. So I'm gonna check the time for Beauty and the Beast, see if I can watch Beauty and the Beast. If not, I'm gonna go over to Disney Junior Live dance party and go watch Disney Junior Live. Two, four, and five. So I think we're gonna come back for the four o'clock one. The next Disney Junior show is in like 20 to 30 minutes. So instead, I'm gonna go get some tachos at Woody's Lunchbox, which is right next to Slinky, so it's perfect. Everyone says the tachos are so good because basically they're like tater tot nachos, which sounds heavenly. I was gonna get another cream cheese pretzel, but sadly, it is like almost $8, and I think I need something a little bit more filling because I'm gonna get coffee later, and I cannot drink coffee on an empty Oh my gosh, guys, I did not expect the tachos to be so big. They look so good, and they better be good for $10. That's literally so good. Finally, time to ride. Almost in the front. That was so much fun, but now I got one more. Oh, I don't want to record videos. I need to be careful. I forget I know these people that kind of work here, so I can't be kind of super. Now I'm gonna go get Joffrey's, and then I'm gonna go over to Disney Junior Live, and then ride Rock and Roller Coaster. As I'm sitting in a cool bench now. As you can see, it's very hot outside. But I got a strawberry dipped mocha, which is one of their like February, like Valentine's Day drinks. So let's try it. And we also got a heart straw. So very on theme, but my first strawberries, let's see. Okay, there's a hint of strawberry in there actually. Let's go and mix that up. It is a little bit bitter, but if you enjoy Joffrey's, comment below what your favorite Joffrey's drink is so I can try it next. This is gonna be a no for me, but I'm glad that I tried it. And it was practically free, so it's finally time to ride the rock and roller coaster and I'm so excited. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is it guys, this is it. The next ride is also a new ride that I've ridden before, which is Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I know it's not like a thrilling ride, it's a cutesy ride, but a lot of people say it's a really good ride. So I'm ready to ride it. Plus, I was told that it's also a trackless ride. 
and trackless rides are kind of scary to me. So it'll be thrilling to me. Did I do Tower to you guys? I don't know. Do <laughs> blind help reach good people in the cartoon or the fix this? Okay, that's a track, I think. Oh my gosh, there is no track. That was too crazy. Not what I expected. That one was a thrill ride. Round two. I got front row, guys. This might be my last time ever riding it. So there's still an hour until I ride Tower of Terror, but I think I'm gonna do some pin trading. I did get a photo of all the pin trading locations. So I'm gonna go find all these locations and trade some pins. I already traded some with like other board stands, but I don't like want to film me doing the trading process because you know the cashier like the person's right there so I don't want to film it but I just did a mystery box one for my first time and it was really cool and she let me do three instead of picking two so let's go trade some pins actually let's not go because I forgot I'm not filming it but I'm gonna go do that hey guys sorry I never filmed the new pins I got so I'm gonna show you guys the new pins I got First, we got these two Shelly Mae and Duffy Squashmallow ones. I know, so crazy. And then we also got a Gelatoni headband one. And then I got this Eeyore one from um, the mystery box pin trading. And I also got these two Oswalds. I think that's it, I'm pretty sure. There I am, taking my slowest strides to Tower of Terror. It's also going to be my last ride for the night because it's getting pretty late. To say I am very scared is an understatement. Maybe this just isn't a good idea. I love how it looks like it's so pretty. I don't like this. Last time I rode this ride, it was in Disneyland and it was Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't know when that was and I don't know why I rode it, but I just did. And I hated the loud sounds in it as well, so I hope this one isn't very loud. This line is moving way too fast. Like, there's no line. Starting to panic. My bad. Is this the ride? If the next clip is me crying, don't be surprised. Number five, all the way in the back. Oh my god, I'm shaking so bad. That was not bad. Will I ride it again while I'm here? No, no. I think I'm good for the rest of my program. For the rest, I'm good. Even though I love the whole idea of the Tower of Terror. Like, I love like seeing all the stuff in it. 